welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because, drum roll! Okay, so when I was in Utah, I saw that Drunk Elephant had launched their new sleigh cleanser. As soon as I saw it, I was like going crazy. I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. Look at the magnetic closure. So I'm sure you have all heard about this by now. This is not brand new information, but I came home from my Utah ski trip to a surprise package. I honestly was not expecting to receive this and I'm so thrilled that I did because I wanted to try this so bad. So thank you so much to Drunk Elephants for sending this over. Let's go ahead and unbox this, shall we? I'm very excited to just dive right in. How to slay in three steps. Up here, there's some more wording that says slay makeup melting butter cleanser, a remover and a shaker. Back to this area. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my goodness, Drunk Elephant, are you kidding me? A diptyque candle? I've always wanted one of these. Ah, I'm so excited. Wow, bougie perfume scented candle. I'm stoked. And then over here we have a little towel, or is this like a headband? It says pull your hair back. Let's see. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, and it's also branded. Wow, adorable. It's like a terry cloth headband. I love this. And then over here, the highlight of the party. We've got Miss Slay Melkup. Melkup. Wow, cannot speak. I'm so excited. Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. So let's go ahead and open this up and I can show you guys what the packaging looks like even though I'm sure you've already seen it. For those of you who don't know <laughs> what this is or haven't actually heard of this, Drunk Elephant just launched a Melkup, Melkup, why do I keep saying Melkup? <laughs> a makeup melting cleanser. So this has a kiwi strawberry seed blend in it and virgin rule oil. So you know already that it's gonna be really soft on your skin. And then up here, we've got this spoon that has a metal attachment to it. So you can just do that and you're not gonna lose your spoon. That is such a game changer because whenever I have a package that comes with these things, I lose them instantly. But this, boom, good to go. And since it's on the outside, it's not gonna be inside and getting like all nasty and stuff. So I love that already about this. So in addition to the cleanser, there is also something else in here. And it's this cute little baby. This is the Bamboo Booster Exfoliant. So this right here is an exfoliant powder that you use in addition to this makeup melting cleanser. You just use them together and this is gonna give you more physical exfoliation. You can use it two to three times a week, but definitely not every day. Also, if you are using retinol like me right now, it's recommended to not use it because you can really overdo stripping your skin and like, we're not trying to do that. So for me, I'm not gonna be testing this out right now. Maybe down the line, I will. Right now, because the retinol just, no thank you. But this, for sure, I am really excited to dive right into, so let's get into it. When you open up the package, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's just this really nice, balmy sort of texture. Let me see if this smells. No, it's really unscented, like, it literally smells like nothing. <laughs> so yeah, that is that. I'm gonna be trying this throughout the course of the week with different types of makeup and seeing how effectively it'll remove it. It even says that it's supposed to be effective at taking off waterproof mascara, so we'll see. I don't have waterproof mascara, but I do have makeup that's really difficult to get off. So let's see how it goes. So this was my first time trying out Slay. Looking back, I probably took a little bit too much, like more than I needed. A little bit definitely goes a long way with Slay. You'll see that right now I'm working the product into my skin. So it starts off as a solid balm, and then as you work it into your dry skin, the heat from your fingers melts the balm into more of this liquidy state. So technically it becomes like an oil. It's really soft and gentle on the skin. You'll see that right now I'm actually patting it onto my eyes. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. 
I'm basically swiping down on my lashes just to like try to break everything off without being too harsh and you'll see that there is blue coming off of my eyebrows because I did go in with Maybelline's blue snap scara for my brows. Listen, it was a look, okay? It was cute. On my face, I had the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, just the eyeshadows from there, and I also had those on my eyes, along with Maybelline's Tattoo Studio Gel Eyeliner in Polished White. So I'm just removing everything. You really want to take your time with this. It's not one of those like quick 30 second wash sort of cleansers. You really need to work it into your skin. And I actually much prefer this because with cleansers in general, you want to take about a minute to really work it into your skin so that you can reap the full benefits from the cleanser. I had Maybelline's Matte Ink in Inspire on my lips, and if you've ever tried that, you know how hard that is to take off. But look how easily this immediately started removing that liquid lipstick. Literally, like, what? That's insane. I've never had a cleanser be so effective at removing that lipstick. Okay, yes, I know I look crazy. Let's wash this off my face. I'm taking some warm water and then splashing that all over my face. Unfortunately, not like the models on TV because I don't know how they do it without making a mess. I would love to, but I just can't. I ended up scraping off the eyeshadow from my lower lash line. Does anybody else do that? Sometimes I feel like that's just the most effective way of being gentle at removing my eyeshadow without like super tugging on my eyes. Other than that, everything else washed off really easily. Now time to pat dry. I'm most amazed that there was nothing remaining on the towel afterwards, but there was a little bit of blue shadow staining remaining underneath my eyes, so I went back in with a little bit more slay and wiped it off with a damp towel. That really did the trick and helped to get it all off. Next, I'm going in with their marula oil just to add some hydration to my face. But to be completely honest, my face felt so smooth that I didn't even feel like I really needed marula. So Slay versus festival makeup, Slay 1, festival makeup 0. That makeup was awesome though, right? Am I right? I thought it was pretty cool. Anyways, see ya on to Slay round 2. By this time, I had learned my lesson and scooped up only a little bit of Slay and then worked it all over my face. I like to start off by dispersing kind of even amounts all over every single part of my face, just so each part has its own cleanser, and then I'll go back in and work it into each section. On this day, I was wearing a cushion foundation that looks absolutely beautiful, but is so hard to wash off. I don't know what it is about the formula, but it just kind of like clings to your skin when you try to cleanse it. With Slay, it started melting off as soon as I was working it into my skin. Like, excuse me, what kind of magic is this? Because this is sorcery. It's gotta be that blend of African oils in Slay. So this has Marula, which we all know and love from Drunk Elephant, Baobab, Kalahari Melon, Mongongo, and Shemenya. I really hope I didn't butcher any of those names, but it's got all of those amazing oils in it, which is probably what's making it so smooth. Some other standout ingredients in Slay are the whole fruit salad blend. So we've got a mix of non-fragrant soothing fruit extracts, which are blueberry, kiwi, and strawberry. And then we have replenishing fruit oils, which are cranberry seed oil, acai fruit oil, and watermelon seed oil that help to keep the skin really comfortable and moisturized. Since this was at night and I was just gonna go to sleep right after this, I finished up my nighttime skincare routine with my all-time favorite TLC Free Mousse Glycolic Night Serum, and then I layered it with some of Lala Retro Whipped Cream to add some moisture to my skin. Now, of course, my skin was already feeling really moisturized, but with something like TLC Free Mousse, since it is an AHA slash BHA, you just want to go in there with some moisture to keep your skin nice and supple throughout the night. I also went in with some Sea Tango on my under eyes because we gotta keep these designer bags nice and moisturized as well. Now time for bed. Good night. I'm thinking this one might be a little bit trickier because I have that neon line. Oh, wow, that is really coming off easily. I was thinking that because of that liner, since it was just more like 
not glitter, you know, it's liner, it's thick. Wow, I am impressed. I honestly thought it would be harder to take off that glitter. Like, I thought it wasn't gonna budge. But look at that, it's like, <laughs> it's coming off so easily. Okay, I don't know what is up with... Ooh, stabbed myself nearly. What is up with this lash line situation? Huh, I wonder why that's not coming off easily. Oh, you know what it is? It's lash glue. Lash glue is so annoying to get off. Okay, I still have a lot of glitter actually on this eye, but it did for the most part come off easily. I'm just gonna go back in with one more round of Slay and try to remove all of this excess glitter. Going in with that second pass definitely helped a lot. Obviously, there's still some glitter here and there. You're never gonna get 100% of it off, so that's fine. This is really, really good to me. When you use Slay, go in with it twice because the first layer is basically just to kind of like start the removal process, and the second is more of that deep cleaning to really get in there and remove the glitters. A drugstore alternative for Slay is Pixie's Double Cleanse. It's another really great makeup remover that is oil-based, and is so gentle and effective. All right, let's wash the rest of my face. But first, let's get this hair out of the way. I also have on Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink on again today. I just, I'm so intrigued by how well this takes it off. I couldn't believe it for my eyes the first time, so I'm like, oh, let me try it again one more time and just make sure it really does take it off. Because I'm telling you, like, nothing removes this so easily. I have to usually sit there and scrub super hard for it to come off, but this is just like, oh, you want it off? No problem, I got you. Also, the foundation that I'm wearing today is that CC cream, that secret key one, and it is really hard to take off. Like, usually it sticks to my skin, and no matter how many times I cleanse, it's still there, but with this slay, it just all melts away so easily. Oh, another thing is that today I have on sunscreen. The previous two days I did not, and I'm very, very interested in seeing how well this is going to remove sunscreen. I mean, obviously I can tell pretty dang well because this is all coming off <laughs> really easily, but sunscreen is something that I typically have a hard time removing from my face. It's kind of like the CC cream in a way where it just sticks to my face. Or I shouldn't say CC cream, it's more of like a cushion foundation. Is that a CC cream? I don't know. But yeah, sunscreen generally just sticks to my face and I'm curious if that is a reason why I've been getting chin breakouts more often. Eh, probably not. It's mostly like hormonal and retinol related. If you've been watching my videos, with my retinol um, skin updates, you'll know all about this situation. All right, time for the true test. And this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Are you kidding me? Look at it, it's coming off so easily. What? Drunk Elephant literally has magic in their sleigh. I am convinced. Oh, this is such a cute look. <laughs> mm. Vogue, you called? I'm ready for my close-up. All right, I'm gonna wash my face and I'll be right back. Wow, wow, wow. My face feels like so good, it's so smooth. The only thing that has not been removed is that little piece of stubborn eyelash glue. Like, it's just not coming off. It's so annoying. I guess it's a part of me now. That's cool. But like, look at my skin. It's so beautiful. <laughs> like, it's so clean. It's so smooth. I really, really love Slay. Like, I cannot say enough good things about this. I'm so glad that Drunk Elephant came out with this because it is a game changer. Where's the front? Game changer. So I ended up stopping using the retinol, so I decided to go ahead and try out the Bamboo Booster. Basically, you want to pepper it into your slate, and yes, it literally looks like pepper. I went for three dashes of the Bamboo Booster, but I think two is fine. Like anywhere from two to three dashes of the Bamboo Booster I think is perfect. Then you just want to combine this with Slay, rub it in, and then work this all over your face. Just as you would with Slay, you want to really take your time with this so that you can get that nice physical exfoliation. 
The Bamboo Booster has bamboo and charcoal powder in it, so it's these tiny ultra-fine bamboo spheres that gently exfoliate away built-up dead dry skin. I found the Bamboo Booster to be super gentle. You know how with normal exfoliators, you just have that gritty sort of texture and sometimes they can feel too abrasive? This is so soft that you barely even feel it, like honestly, it's like it's not even there. So I think that makes it super ideal for sensitive skin. Afterwards, my skin still felt really soft and smooth and not dry at all. So this is something that I can definitely see myself using on a more regular basis. So I've been using Slay for a few weeks now and honestly, I really love it. It is such a gentle yet effective cleanser slash makeup remover. I love using this on makeup days and no makeup days. This does such an amazing job at removing everything. It breaks down my hardest to break down liquid lipsticks, as you guys saw. And it's also really great at removing my sunscreen. So I really, really love this a lot. It's become my new go-to nightly cleanser. And I think if you get a chance to try this out, you should because it's great. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you actually have tried Slay. I'm so curious to hear your guys' experiences with it. I also really love the Bamboo Booster because this one is super gentle as well. When you think of exfoliation and beads, you most likely think of those really gritty textured ones. This one is so gentle that honestly, you don't even feel it. And for that reason, I really love this a lot and I think it's great for those of us like me who have sensitive skin. Neither of these have irritated my skin at all like literally at all, so I think they're amazing. So that is that about Slate. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.